Hello, everybody. Hello. So. We can also talk a little bit about resilience today, so we can cover that a little bit. Yeah. My name is Roland Trescher, this is Elle Armand, and we are from Berlin, and um, we work together since a long time already, so we're doing train-the-trainer programs in Berlin. And this is the biggest PowerPoint we could find. So, um, can everybody see this, or shall we bring it a little bit more further? We can zoom it a little bit. Yeah, so. okay, so. What we want to do is we want to share our experience of the last 20, 25, 25 years. This That's is intro. wonderful. Be resilient. Yeah, we want to share right. this accident with you. And, um, <laughs> so that's perfect. Because this happens to us all the time, this yeah. 20, 25 years. And that's a kind of transformation what happened to us. Yeah. And this we want to share with you. Yeah, we both started in the 90s um, exploring improvisation. And when we started, it was like, who? Getting crazy. It was Something like, like this fun playing around, yeah, we met improv in the 90s and uh, what we did is we did crazy improv shows, yeah, mm -hmm. and we had n almost no rules at the beginning except yes and we did the first workshops, we offered uh, uh, business theater shows to companies because they wanted to have fun, so this was actually yeah. our first experience with improv and this really drives us crazy because mm -hmm. it, it uh, took us away from a different world we actually were coming from. Yeah, so I quit my job as a lawyer. I used to be a policeman, but don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we did this because we explored this crazy unknown world, the unexpected, this, what is this? We didn't know what this was. And then uh, a few years later, um, there came this point, we did more and more training and communication training, leadership training, everything you also do in your world. And then there was the first step of our learning journey to transform. And then um, this moment came to say, hey, I have to position myself. Let's say it loud. Let's say to the people, what I do is improvisation. Yeah, we called it improvisation. We named it, yeah. So uh, what we started then is, we offered improv trainings to universities. Yeah, we offered workshops for companies more, a little bit more applied, but not, not really yet. We trained them improv, actually, no transfer and stuff like that. But we named it, so we, yeah, we made a position. We said, yes, we are the guys yeah. doing improv. And if you are or in the moment in your own transformation uh, process, it doesn't matter where you make the point, but make a point. This is the only important thing. And then we came to the next step. It was at the beginning of the 2000 years. So it was in clear um, doing improv is okay, name it is okay, but then we needed a next step and that was more give a direction in what we do. So, so what does it mean, give this a direction? A direction means for us two things in the beginning of the th uh, 2000 years. Um, you know, um, uh, the world was changing, you know. 9-11 uh, came. The Wooker world started, yeah, yeah. so we realized there's a Wooker world, digitalization, Climate catastrophe already started a little bit. It was yeah. not a catastrophe at that time, but it started, become critical. And there was a kind of readiness also starting for, still for a niche, but people became more ready. So okay, maybe the world is not so linear as we thought. It's more cha chaotic. It's, it's unpredictable. It's non-linear. And so we decided to bring our improv training deeper into train the training from, uh, from two directions. One direction was um, bringing improv um, to people who come from the business world, trainers, consultants, and also the uh, business developers. So this actually was the point where, and probably you know the point as well, where improv training kind of turned into applied improv training for us. So we adapted to their needs, to these new needs of this new business world. Yeah. And the other direction was bring improv, uh, bring the business world to improv people. So we had two directions, and that was really, really beautiful to see how that fits together and how people could really work together. And the we two are. directions also were that uh, we realized that we applied improv trainer needed more business skills you know, to get to know them, to know their language. And the other way around, people coming from the business training world needed more applied improv skills. So this was were the two directions we were working. Exactly. So, and then it was around about 2005, 2006, um, we started to develop a train the trainer program. We did a, we got um, legs to this little bird that's coming up here. We call it the fun bird. And the little fun bird got some legs. 
And uh, the legs for us was, okay, we do a train-the-trainer program, a 20-day tra uh, train-the-trainer program from people from the business context, from the theater context, and train them in 10 modules how to use improv applied in their special area. Yeah, so we had the legs, we were connected to the improv world, and what happened then? We realized at a certain point that not all people are the same. So the idea was personalize it a little bit, so get it more color. And uh, at that point, we, we, uh, we met some, um, I would say, some um, personality assessment tools, and this is kind of example, and we are dealing with certain personality styles, we call it. And uh, so there was uh, this kind of um, a personality tool we used as an analytical tool. So what we did is we said, okay, who's coming to us and who are we working for? And the other tool we used was about a competency analysis tool. And so all this bird got more individual color. So as you know, everybody has a different improv style. And before we couldn't really know why are doing people so differently improv. One is really communicated. The other one is more silent, more introverted. The other one is more value oriented and more analytical and has very good way of um, doing improv with the brain. And then this was the first time we could bring this together and we found an amazing, cool assessment tool that was not um, giving uh, stereotypes anymore. And this is an inner parliament, what you can see here. And Fritz Segner from Austria, he brought us this wonderful tool. He's a, um, um, a systemic coach by himself and a business developer. And now we had an assessment tool that we could give to our trainers, that we could give to our clients to see how is your culture? Is it more a cognitive culture? Is it more a playful culture? Is it more an action, a culture of action? And so we can start to make our fun bird really colorful and diverse. And it was so important for us. So what came next? Energy. You all have a special energy and, and passion where you're going. Um, for. <laughs> so we need to give our fun birds a little more personality and action. And in my uh, case, it was I was um, when I started in the 90s already into apply um, improv to health and resilience, and so we deepened our work with applied improv and resilience, developed a whole new model how to train improv, how to use an assessment tool, how to use different personalities, and to see how are you creating your resilience, how are you designing your improv styles. So. We were almost completed, but we were missing kind of was we were looking at the context. What's the context again we're working with all the personalities and all that stuff? And at that time, so uh, for example, in German things happened. It was the case that the German government, for example, launched a program which is called the Business World 4.0. I don't know if it's here the term as well. So it was a kind of public need for certain skills. And so we were able actually to tell our story to HR managers, for example. Yeah, that's what we did. We could then tell our story, what, what, what we can uh, offer them in their needs in this new context. And so we started to do conferences. Maybe, um, you know, we did the conference to, uh, 2013 in Berlin, the AIN conference. And then we did more conferences in Austria, in Germany, and also in Switzerland. And we brought applied improv um, into the little European world of, um, yeah, HR, business developers, and brought in our assessment tool and brought in, um, oh my God, we have 60 days of training for applied improvisation right now, and 60 days of training for resilience, come, uh, including applied improv. So it's beca it became a huge program over 12 years, and this is not something you just step in, you know. You need to make a huge decision in your life that you want to transform as your, um, in your, uh, for yourself as a trainer and coach and transform also your business. And if you have this personality, as uh, this fun bird, and you have the context, you can finally name it. So what could be, what could be for example, a name for this fun bird working for Industry 4.0? What could, what could you name it? Yeah. Marcel? <laughs> Marcel, it's Marcel. beautiful. Let's call him Marcel. Marcel. Okay. okay, cool. That's a special one, okay. And what is Marcel's message to the world? What is his transformative message? Could that be, he be, be you. Be you. Fantastic. <laughs> be you. you. Exactly. 
So the idea actually on the, what the, the result or the, the, the outcome for us was that we have so many individual fun birds, so each trainer of you is so individual and uh, we always connected to our personalities and our the context and stuff like this and this makes it so complex on the one hand but on the other hand it's really fun to play around with all these different fun birds and we are always have to transform yeah that's uh, the constant transformation and uh, we have to shift again and again and again and the travel will not be over will not be uh, will not be oh, it zero. will not so be over. and our message to you design your fun bird every morning every day every week in your own transformation uh, transformation process have fun and enjoy applied improvisation thank you thank you, thank you.